Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React. Today we are going to learn about how I can upload files to Amazon S3 bucket using the React drop zone. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that we have a drag and drop files. Okay, so I can just use the drag and drop and you can also make it like this. Drag and drop. Okay, so here we have the documents, desktop. We have so many images over here, so I can upload any of the image. Like this, we can upload. And here you can see that uploaded image is coming over here. If I go to over here in my section, in my upload image, so currently <coughs> there is only three files. If I try to upload, uh, the, reload this one, the last file will come up over here. That is this one, right? This is ATED. So let's try check this. This is ATED file name. Okay. So that means the file is uploaded successfully over the S3 bucket. Right. So let's dive into the code level. Okay. So what we have used over here. So here we have the React and the use state from the React. Drop zone from the React drop zone. AWS SDK from the AWS SDK. Make sure the package is to be installed. Then we have a configuration of the AWS. So make sure SS key, ID, secret key, and the region you come to know about that one. Then we have a file uploader. So currently the states are empty. Handle drop. So currently we have AWS S3. Here we have the accepted files. So there were the params that bucket, file, and the body. Okay, then we have to upload. This is a function for the uploading the files on the S3 bucket. Then we are setting the state. Okay, set files data dot location we are setting the location also okay here we have the drop zone the which we have already discussed in the previous video so this is drop zone drag and drop okay and uh, what whenever there is a files length there so we are just consoling the or printing the files name url okay so whatever in the files object we are going to just rent showing that name here you can see that the urls uploaded files right and uh, after that we have a, this is a styling part nothing else okay so by doing this one simple step you are able to upload the images using the s3 bucket in the react using the react drop zone any doubt any query in that just do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day